Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The um, language that we are attempting to strike here is Section 152, page 63, the Office of Financial Research. The bill creates a new data center and mandates that it collects and maintain, quote, all data necessary to monitor the financial system. Under Section 1022, the new consumer Financial Protection Bureau could collect any information that it chooses from businesses, from consumers, including personal characteristics and financial information. Americans uh, could be required to provide this new agency with written answers under oath to any question posed by the Bureau regarding their personal financial information. Uh, this office would have subpoena power, unlimited funding to mine and monitor every financial transaction everywhere in the country. Uh, These new agencies would not be subject, as I understand it, to the Congressional budget or appropriations process, executive branch oversight of their budgets, or frankly, any other oversight of their funding. Uh, essentially, the federal government would now be able to track what you buy, who you buy it from, when you buy it. Uh, this information could be shared with numerous government agencies, no limits to what the government agencies could do with this information. A new legion of government bureaucrats could pro profile Americans' buying behavior. If they don't like decisions uh, that we're making, they could try to restrict decisions accordingly. Uh, equally troubling is one data breach could cause public disclosure of Americans' most personal information. And we know when it comes to uh, having data breaches, uh, the government does not have necessarily a great track record. I think that this particular office has serious implications uh, for privacy and for civil liberties for all Americans. Uh, I'm afraid that this leads us into the whole area of behavioral uh, economics, which means, again, an army of government bureaucrats substituting their judgment uh, for ours. Uh, for example, this Office of Financial Research could gather all loan files from companies that lend to American consumers. Uh, this information could be aggregated to restrict or increase credit availability for certain loans over other loans, depending upon considerations, again, of those who govern. Uh, the uh, OFR, this Office of Financial Research, would have rulemaking authority to require uniform information and data submission from all U.S. Uh, companies that are financial. Uh, the cost to bear uh, could be large, passed on again to the consumers. This Office of Financial Research essentially has full tax and spend powers uh, on the financial industry and have access to Federal Reserve proceeds that otherwise, again, could be used to reduce the national debt. How much will this particular office cost? I suppose nobody knows. Precisely, a number of industry and academic advocates have said the office could cost a half a billion dollars annually for operational cost. Now, who will benefit from this work? Uh, not just federal financial regulators, but apparently Wall Street firms would have access to the data and research as well. Uh, I believe there has been at least one public statement from Morgan Stanley that estimates that this particular office would save them 20 to 30 percent in their operational cost, begging the question, is this perhaps one more bailout? Now, we know as we have approached troubled economic times that the only part of our uh, labor force that has increased has been the government labor force. And interestingly enough, the Office of Financial Research employees are exempted from the general schedule for federal employees, meaning they can earn in excess of $200,000. And I believe the director could set the salary for 1,000 more of these particular employees. Once the government essentially establishes a monopoly, uh, not unlike the duopoly or the oligopoly that they help establish with the government-sponsored enterprises uh, or uh, in the credit reporting agencies, everyone's left with one set of data, one set of assumptions, and if they prove bad, like the GSEs, we know that the, what the result will be. Ultimately, this is a threat to our privacy, threat to our civil liberties, 
uh, and I heartily encourage that we adopt the amendment. I will speak against the amendment.